I haven't made a video since Damascus? What? Hello YouTube. I am completely surprised with myself because I haven't made a video uh, since Damascus, Virginia, which would probably, it's a, almost a month, which is crazy, at least three weeks. There has been a lot that's happened since then, and so, uh, you know, I don't really have any excuses except that a lot have happened, uh, and I haven't really been able to catch a breath, I guess. So, I'm taking the opportunity to record here at the beautiful Bryant Ridge Shelter. So yes, a lot has happened since uh, Damascus. A little bittersweet or whatever you want to say because I really enjoyed Damascus. But, trail days will be in a month. So I will be back. If I climbed out of Damascus into the Rowan Mountain. Nope, that is not it. I did not go through the Rowan Mountains. I'm climbing up a mountain called Mount Rogers in Virginia. Man, Virginia is incredibly beautiful, uh, especially this part, this part of Virginia. I feel like I should be in the, the sound of music or something and start singing some kind of tune. I'm going to be climbing up that, I think, or that over there. I'm not sure. Uh, there were wild ponies out there uh, to that, that would just come right up to you and try to I just beg you for food. I was a little afraid, paranoid to touch them. Um, but they would, uh, yeah, they would come up to you and lick you and, and just want, keep wanting to get food from you. And probably even steal food if you didn't have a, a strap down somewhere. The only problem with the Grayson Highlands was that I uh, was a complete idiot and thought that the Grayson Highlands was going to go on for like 10, 20 miles. So I just got through the Grayson Highlands, an incredible place with ponies and, and beautiful views but I was a complete idiot and uh, thought that I could still video uh, a little bit farther down the trail you know the first time I saw the, the the horses my thought was oh great horses let me take a picture I think I can do some video a little bit later because I'm gonna be here for a while and I never saw horses again but I just exited it and now I have no video of Grayson Islands. So, uh, I do apologize. That was really a dumb part of my, dumb thing on my part. I had a very exciting opportunity to stop at a place called Atkins, um, which is not that far off from Damascus, but, you know, um, it was Easter weekend. And Easter weekend, for me, is very important uh, for my faith, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, my, as a Christian, I just... I I really wanted to take Easter off. I wanted to do, to go to to go to a Sunday service, um, and uh, you know, worship. Uh, just because I'm yeah, I'm appreciative of everything that's on this trail, uh, and that the least I can do, you know, um, on this trail is to worship my God uh, on Easter Sunday. Hey, Jam here, and can you take a hike here with Pudge? What's up? And uh, we got to go to, uh, you know, we were spending Easter here in Hillsville, Virginia, because we got off at a place called Atkins, uh, Virginia, and I just had an opportunity to get into town here and uh, got to be able to go to church on Easter. And it's been such a blessing. Out of the box uh, church. Out of the box church, really incredible. Um, you know, just, uh, it, it all just worked out. And I think it, that that's what's amazing about this trail. And, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing to be here on Easter. Uh, you know, living in grace, just I, I'm so appreciative of everything that's ha been happening on this trip. And so, um, just thankful for grace because, you know, it's Easter. Happy freaking Easter. Cheers. Happy Easter. So I pushed on from Atkins and headed towards Bland, Virginia. Now, around this time, um, I started to get really weak. And, um, you know, it was really strange because I did not have the energy to push um, the mileage that you know me and my trail family was pushing and uh, I mean I was every every stump every bench I could find I just decided to sit down and sit down and um, take a break and you know I realized quickly that this is not going to get any better 
So I know my status updates are always usually peachy and smiling and happy and honky doy. Uh, but I just want to uh, make one post to show you just a little bit of a hardship of this trail. I need to do 23 miles today and I've done about five. My legs are feeling miserable. My uh, vibe, I guess, is feeling kind of tired and blah. I stopped at Bland to figure out what's going on, and I realized that I wasn't even—I didn't even have an appetite, which is um, not a good thing to have, uh, you know, on this trail, where you know I couldn't—I couldn't even down half of a DQ burger. Now a DQ burger is not that great, period, but um, I couldn't even eat that. And I stayed at a, I stayed at a hostel that night, and the guy cooked um, a really great hostel, but the guy cooked some uh, chicken wings. And I couldn't even eat two chicken wings. But I think what what happened to me was just um, dehydration and um, purely just exhaustion. And because I wasn't really feeling sick, I just didn't, I couldn't eat and I was feeling weak. So I spent the next uh, four days, uh, three to four days to recover. Um, I actually skipped from Bland to Parisburg, which is about I think 40 to 50 miles, um, so that I could kind of I could keep going with my trail family. You know, I drank tons of Gatorade. Um, I ate. I tried to eat as much food as even if it was like ice cream. I just tried to eat as much as I can, and uh, slowly my appetite got back. Got back about. And uh, my lesson learned from that was that I really need to start listening to my body. And, you know, this trail is, again, not a race. It's an endurance test. And, um, you know, you really have to listen to your body and see if your body can move uh, with the speed that you want or, you know, the mileage that you want to make. You want to push hard, but you, need, you also need to listen to your body. So I decided I'm really going to take a slow again. And um, I'm not. I'm gonna hike my own hike. I'm not gonna worry about trying to keep up with my trail family. Um, and uh, you know, I got back on, and I'm. And I'm now. I'm feeling really great. My appetite's back, and uh, uh, you know, I move forward. Um, so, you know, I stayed in Parisburg, Virginia, which is apparently my grandfather's hometown, which I don't. I didn't know about that, and my mom doesn't know much about, but. I tried to research it uh, more. I couldn't really find anything, but he apparently he was uh, he grew up in Parisburg, Virginia, which is so crazy. Finally, uh, getting out of Parisburg, Virginia, after four days of zeroing and resting and trying to get better. You know, done everything I can. Hydrated. I am very hydrated, and uh, I'm finally out. I'm out of Parisburg, heading towards Catawba. Uh, Virginia. I feel good. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling everybody I'm calling myself Jam 2.0. So I'm just I'm I'm pumped. I'm ready to go, and uh, uh, you know I want to keep going. And I'm and Katahdin is still my goal. I'm still going. I am still in the thing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like laughing about it, but but yeah, I am still in the thing. I'm in the game, ready to go. Jam 2.0. It has a place called McAfee's Knob. And McAfee's Knob is one of the most iconic, uh, iconically photographed spots on the AT for both uh, AT through hikers and day hikers and section hikers. It was so cool to be able to sit on top of that cliff. I remember looking back when I was, you know, researching the crap out of this, uh, looking at pictures of people on McAfee's Knob and saying, I'm going to be there someday, um, which was so... So when I was there, I got pretty emotional. Even now, I'm thinking about it. I'm getting a little emotional. Um, but anyways, you know, um, it was a great spot. Something I need to point out about Virginia. Whoever said Virginia is easy is full of bull honky. Virginia is not easy at all. Uh, you know, I keep hearing, oh, when you win after Damascus, it's just free sailing, you know. Um, no, not at all. Uh, there's rocks everywhere. You get on top of these ridges that are full of these huge boulders of rocks. And 
you know, you walk on top of these ridges for miles, and you get back down, some gap, and you go back up top and around a ridge, and you do the same situation, keep going, da 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 There's not much payoff when you get up on top of these things, because there's so much tree cover. Um, so that's a huge difference. I mean, Virginia is hilly and, and rocky and, like, not mountainous, but it is tough. Whatever this rumor is about Virginia being easy needs to be laid to rest right now because it's it hurts. Um, uh, my feet hurt at all the time. You know, there's, nothing's easy on this trail. Um, it's just less difficult. Is that the big points of adventures I've had in the last uh, three weeks to a month? Um, and now I'm, uh, you know climbing and hiking and going through just chugging along through Virginia I'm pushing to right now towards Waynesboro Virginia which will be the start of the Shenandoahs and the Shenandoahs is going to be a, another just different spot it's going to be beautiful and it's very famous and apparently apparently there's two bears per square mile there so I'm probably going to see a bear uh, which is exciting and scary at the same time and then the next point after that is Harper's Ferry. It's so wild for me to think that I'm going to be in Harper's Ferry within weeks. Um, and I'm going to be uh, almost halfway there. You know, right now I'm, I am a third of the way there. And that's, that's, that right there is wild for me to think. But I am pushing along. I'm feeling great. I'm healthy. And uh, I'm excited for the next 1,000... 400 miles uh, of this trail. So, thank you so much for following uh, Kenji or Jam on Kenji Takes a Hike. You know, as, as uh, I said before, you can follow me more uh, frequently on Instagram. Uh, and I have a Facebook group. Just search the hashtag Kenji Takes a Hike. Um, and so, yeah, thank you so much. Have a great day.